Hey guys, Chris Tran with Guns and Tactics Magazine. Back at you again on day two of SHOT Show 2017. I'm here with Nate from Faction Firearms. Hey buddy. If you guys have been paying attention to uh, Guns and Tactics Magazine, just finished up a, uh, a review on their uh, 14 and a half inch gunner barrel. We're here at SHOT today. Thanks a lot for having us, man. Really appreciate it. And I know you guys have a lot of new stuff that are that's happening uh, for you guys in terms of what's being released out. So I know you have a lot of stuff, so I'll keep my mouth shut. Just let us know what you got going on, man. All right, sounds good, my man. So what you've got here in front of you is a full rifle with facts and firearms products. Specifically, I wanted to highlight two products on it, one of which is in your hand right, right. there. That is our new Streamline Carbon handguard. And specifically, we partnered with Lancer Systems sure. on that to, for them to create the carbon. And we applied a little bit of facts and ingenuity and engineering to machine the aluminum attachment. But basically, what we're able to do is we have a 15-inch handguard that is eight ounces or less using a standard AR-15 barrel nut. And I'm including the barrel nut in that statistic. Outstanding. So you're talking about seven ounces or less using titanium, aluminum, or other barrel nuts that exist today. Mm -hmm. So we've got that in three lengths. You've got the 15 inch in front of you. So for your extended competitors, Chris Costa grippers, figured, hey, I do. I throw my light out in the front of the gun. That's freaking awesome. What I've got here in my hands is the next shorter version. It's about 13.3 inches. It was designed to interface directly with 14 and a half inch barrels. Excellent. Specifically, you've got here one of those gunner barrels that you had a chance to shoot. Mm -hmm. But this time we've now got our slim muzzle device pinned and welded to it. So we leave the weld exposed to the environment. That way we make the ATF happy. Yes. Okay. But what it allows you to do is you can completely free your barrel. All right, most of the time when you guys put together you know, minimum legal length components, you're just stuck with the gun as it was configured. You right. That hand guard, that gas block, and hope to God everything works and lines up because otherwise you're going back to the gunsmith. So this allows you to take a gas block on and off, your barrel nut on and off, and you can reuse that barrel in any number of weapons as you want it while still having an extremely effective muzzle device. The second component to it is putting together a holistic system. All right, even competition, combat, anything is not one target. Mm -hmm. It's really nice that we've got you know all these nice things that help keep us on target, but the fact of the matter is those scenarios are very dynamic. So how do we move weapons from one target to the other as quickly as possible and as accurately as possible? Right. So all these combine into one really nice lightweight package that allows one person to swing the rifle. And I apologize to the camera folks out there when I have to point this. Mm -hmm. But you can take something and you can move it very, very quickly from target to target without having all that extra weight and extra momentum to slow you down. Right. So your competition guys blaze through friggin' paper as fast as possible. For your patrol officers, hey, I gotta put two guys into cover, and that way it allows me to move to get to a place I'm not gonna get shot. Mm -hmm. So the idea is just one big, usable, effective system. Same thing on the carbon, we're using M-Lock all the way around, so yeah. you can attach things. And there's other lighter options out there, but that's definitely race gun. Mm -hmm. That's not combat gun. Sure. Sure, makes sense. I like it. Um, one, you guys all know I'm already a fan of the, of the gunner barrel, especially after oh, I had a chance you. to, yeah, to, to run it for a few months. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> had a good time with it. This to me is freaking ingenious. I love this, and that's always been the biggest complaint is that you know I've, I'll do a build or do a multiple build, but once my 14 and a half inches is pinned and welded, that's what I've got, and that's pretty much what I'm stuck with. So that, that that's where yeah, we're at. The ability to move that gas block on and off on a pin weld, uh, having to send it back to the smith, get rebroken, and then put back on, I think is outstanding. Yep. Love it. What else do we have? So. You're looking at Glock barrel number one. So Faction is also releasing match and standard barrels for the Glock platform. Okay. So this one's featuring our trademark flame fluting. It's not quite been nitrided yet. We didn't have just enough time to get that out sure. here to the show. In the white. Yep, yep, in the white. But you guys could see the flame undulations and fluting on that. One, it helps you know, grit and stuff, but two, let's be honest, it just looks awesome. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna offer it for the Glock 19, the Glock 17, and the Glock 34 in both threaded and non-threaded versions. Mm -hmm. The flame fluted barrels are all going to be 416R stainless, and we're gonna have standard barrels that are drop and replace for something that's a little bit more accurate that are going to be 4150. Okay. Outstanding. Do we have a time frame on these? So we'll be about a month to getting the flame ones. Those are going to be the first barrels that we're going to get shipped out there to everybody. We think that's what everyone's really going to like here yep. to start. You'll see it all, the whole product will be rounded out here by the end of the first quarter. That is outstanding. Okay, so that's a pretty good time frame. All right, moving on. All right, so we talked about the slim muzzle devices. Yeah. So these are going to be released here in individual devices. So we've done custom crush washer basically that allows you to take these and it still maintains that same mm. slim diameter on that barrel to allow you to get gas block on and off. 
So you guys saw on this barrel we had the three-port muzzle brake. Right. Right. And if anybody asks, you know, is this effective? The answer is hell yeah, and then some. Especially when you take into account that these muzzle devices are both less than one ounce. Mm -hmm. So in terms of like talk about swinging a weapon, yep. you're not adding a bone anchor to the front of your gun. You're having a nimble, light firearm that allows you to engage things you know, very quickly. The second is what we call our little flame. Counterintuitive, but it is a flame flash hider. Right. And right. this guy is a tri-prong flash hider, talking about being able to eliminate, virtually eliminate flash on a skinny barrel. Basically, no ringing to it whatsoever. It's short, durable. You can beat the snot out of it and have some fun. Okay. Right. And what are these? Uh, do we have an MSRP on these quite yet? And release times? Yeah. So the three-port muzzle brake. Both of these are actually going to be pinned and welded to barrels first. Okay. We got hundreds of thousands of these things starting to move through. Sure. Um, sure. But what you're going to see them is release the standalone products here, probably in the middle of Q1. Retail on the muzzle device is $59. Well within the realm, realm of, of reasonableness for most people. And that's the piece. I've got, you know, who's facts? We're a manufacturer. I cut chips. That's what we do. We're not buying somebody else's muzzle device and then marking it up and then selling it out there as the latest and greatest hotness. Our objective, Bob Faxon's objective, is to be able to take good parts and put them into the every shooter hands. I like it. I like it. Shooting for the everyman. Exactly. Okay. That's it. Do we have anything else we want to showcase today, or are we pretty much good with what we got? Oh, pretty much good with what we got. Uh, like for those it. of you curious, we got 308 bulk carrier groups that are making their debut mm -hmm. here at the show. Ah, that's that's where right there. there it goes. <laughs> so, 8620 bulk carrier group, 9310 bolt, so stronger than Carpenter 158, mm. using an S7 tool steel extractor to have increased extractor pressure to ensure reliability. Of course, everyone's concerned about it. Properly staked gas keys. Yep. All right, making sure we have that right. These are going to be offered with our barrels or without standalone as uh, paired and headspace matched bulk carrier groups. Okay. So what we've done, a lot of people have done it with on our 556s, is, is we actually take the bolt and the barrel, we match them, and we're going to laser engrave them as a match set so you mm -hmm. can't screw them up. Mm -hmm. But these are going to be compatible with anything that, uh, of the 308 world. So 308, you'll see 65 Creedmoor from Fax here chair. shortly. Don't have it here at the show, but in another few months. Okay. Uh, 260 Remington, 7 millimeter Odd 8, 338 Federal, you got all sorts of stuff that's going to come down the pike. You guys are very quickly becoming a one-stop shop, it seems. That's what we're trying to do. Thank I like you. it. I like it. It's good to see you, man. Likewise, Chris. Thank you for taking the time. If uh, people want to read more about you guys or take a look at the products themselves, whether they're educating themselves on what uh, purchase to make for next year, where would they go? So go to factsandfirearms.com, send us a message there. Any of the forums, AR15.com, Guns and Tactics has a forum as well. We try to be active with everybody and truly ask us anything. We're going to answer it. Outstanding. Well, again, thanks for taking the time. My Chris pleasure. Trent from Guns and Tactics Magazine, uh, SHOT Show 2017. We'll be back in a little while with some more from our show. Thanks again, Nate. Really appreciate you taking the My time. My pleasure, Chris. All right.